And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Um, yeah. So when we last left off we had to deal with some bugs. Uh, more precisely a problem that we um, could not barter with anyone anymore. So I actually now um, played this section again from the last video. Um, it took me a few times um, until I've managed to end up in a state where we can actually barter with people. Um, however, I'm I'm not sure whether we um, I'm whether um, or not. I'm um, okay. So so the the problem is that we might still be actually screwed um, because this event that causes us not. To be able to bart anymore could um, could still happen. Anyway, um, hold on a second. Um, okay, I think I might have just figured out the reason why, or the yeah, the reason that caused this bug to appear. So when I tried this before, um, and it did end up in a failed state, a state where we couldn't barter, I actually unequipped this radiation, um, this Geiger counter before. This time I didn't unequip it, so maybe that is what causing this, which is, in any case, would be very, very strange. Yeah. Um, and one last thing. Um, when I did the section again off screen, I had a random encounter where we found um, an alien ship in the desert and this gave me this alien blaster which is actually one of the or is actually the most powerful um, single-handed energy weapon so yeah let's just exchange that for that okay now we can finally um, trade our loot and since we have got the alien blaster we can actually probably trade in the the plasma pistol that I um, had used before. Okay, where is Beth? There she is. Um, let's cross our fingers that we can actually trade. Um, um, yeah, let us barter. Yeah, I'm not reading it this text out because it just yeah just random stuff so we we've, we've basically exhausted all the interesting dialogue we can have with Beth um, so this plasma pistol will give us a lot of um, bottle caps um, but let us first trade in the yeah the bowing weapons like this one or this we have, so we don't need two radios or, I think we also have two Geiger counters, is this true? No, it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, we, so we have one of these. Okay, how, ha mm. well technically I don't need, okay, let's uh, first of all, yeah, let's trade this in. And then let's figure out what we want to get rid of afterwards. Yeah, okay, that's... This is still working. Um, it might not after a while, however. Okay, we have um, almost maxed out our carrying capacity. So let us see. Okay, this seven pounds, one pound, five pound. Hmm. Okay, this, this gun magazine is quite heavy. Okay, let us get rid of this surplus um, weight by simply reading this magazine away. Okay, how much does this weight? This is quite heavy. Okay, the book of science you can also get rid of by simply reading it away. As if that would be the way that works in reality. These don't weigh anything. I mean, this these key cards. The tools... 
Um, each weight one pound. Okay, what is this? Ah, okay, these you can also simply read and get better and lighter at the same time. Um, these grenades are one pound each. The rope could be quite, yeah, it's ten pound. Okay. Um, as it as to be expected, the rope the rope is quite heavy. Um, the spear is also quite heavy. Hmm. How much do these sacks, these bags, wait? Three pound each. Are the are they empty? By the way. Uh. Hmm. Wait. Okay, this is. Okay, this is a bit confusing. Okay. Um, so there's nothing in this bag. But there was a second bag. Did I just drop that? Yes, I dropped that. Okay. And this took me so long that it has become night in the meantime. Okay, is this bag empty? Yes, it is also empty. Um, so where is Ian? Well, actually, let's let's talk to Tisho. Okay. Um, well, actually, let's talk to you. Are you the one who is skilled in um, spears? Yes, you are skilled in spears. So we will give you the spear um, in the hope that you won't kill anyone with that, or at least you won't kill me. Um, yeah, by the way, this picture of um, Elvis Presley is, was also in that one scene that you didn't see where I found this spaceship in the desert. Um, Okay, he has the awesome guns that we picked up on the glow, like the minigun and the plasma rifle. Uh, probably want to sell off some of these items. Um, okay, in the meantime we are going... Blah, yeah, she will not trade with us during night time, which is understandable. Um, and she also won't talk to us, which is also quite understandable. Um, ha. Okay, first of all, let us drop off these bags. Let's also sell the plasma pistol. Um, do we have two? We have actually two of these. Um, yeah, that's... One more reason to sell them. I don't need to need this back. Um, I'm not sure whether we need the rope though. Hmm. Not sure whether we need the rope. Okay. She doesn't have enough money actually, so that's kind of a problem. We could take bun take back one. A few of these items. Uh, let's just get rid of. Hmm. Okay, is there anything that we actually want to have? No, I don't think so. Actually, so we will, we will sell you something else. Um, Maybe just these two. Um, um, yeah, okay. Um, just these two, okay. Yeah, sorry, a lot of uh, boring trading doing in this video, but um, yeah. So there was something that I wanted to ask you. Um, tell me about the places I should avoid. Yeah, the Maltese Falcon and Decker. Um, what about the other merchants? Okay, Fargo Traders. Mm. 
So the problem is, um, I want to go to this guy who sells um, the drugs. Um, yeah, the guy who sells drugs. The problem is that he actually needs um, to find someone that gives him gives you his name first. And it was someone in this, someone in um, the hub that actually tells you his name. Um, it's one of the merchants, I believe. Maybe it was him. Maybe it was the guy in the general store. Hmm. That's unlikely though, because he, yeah, he just sells you stuff for at completely ridiculous rates. Um, okay, there was this guy. Hey there, how you doing? The name's Dimitra. Dimitra Romara. Head of the best damn carol in the vase. wastes. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty strong. Uh, yeah, so? That's just what we are looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, ripping by your head, blowing your enemy in two, seeing fear in the eyes. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh yes, we do. We just had a few new opponents, if you're interested. interested. But of course you are, right? Um, what's the pay? Okay, six. We pay 600 bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they are most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? Of course I am. Mm. Yeah, no thanks, Bob. Um, Bob, what the hell are you talking about? Well, no skin off my back. Yeah, we kind of insulted him, which was unavoidable, I suppose. Uh. So there was this police station also. Hmm. And the guy named Guido. Uh. And someone is pondering whether they should kill us. Um, I thought this was a police station actually, but maybe it isn't. It's a bank. Um, oh, let us not rob the bank. Um, people will get mad at us. Hmm. Will they get mad at us? They won't get mad at us if you search this deck. Um, we can't. We really can't talk to these people. Um, it would be really funny to rob this bank. Uh, let's talk to Bob the Iguana Bit Seller. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, the family the family eating place. May I take your order? Uh, what can you tell me about Decker? Mr. Decker is a distinguished biz uh, Mr. Decker is a distinguished is I can't pronounce this word. Is a distinguished businessman in a less than distinguished business. Anything else? What kind of business? If there's anything that involves misery and suffering in the hub, Decker either controls it or wants to control it. Anything else? Um What's happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing is that the children of the cathedral ha that the children of the cathedral has, I guess this should be have, um, has taken over the hospital. Hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Hmm. Okay. Uh, give me an iguana on a stick. Sure. We've got whole iguana on a stick for twenty bucks, and our prime cut pieces for eight bucks. Uh. Hmm. I'll take one of the real ones. One whole iguana coming up. Anything else? Um, nothing. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we have now an iguana on a stick. That weighs one pound. Um, and this iguana on a stick was apparently also radiated. Hmm. Let's talk to him again. Hmm. I actually um, thought you could get some dialogue. Um, hmm. Let's drop his um. Met a Stimpex, um, and he actually does not mind that we do that. Um, hmm. Okay, when we'll come back, folks, I will try to find. Well, I will. I will have found. I will have found the person that tells you the name of the drug dealer um, off screen. So we won't waste another episode doing nothing. And then we will sell all our precious loot. And then we will actually do something worthwhile. And go back to the Brotherhood of Steel. Get the reward for fulfilling the quest. Um, there would be, yeah, well, the quest to go to the glow. And yeah, who knows what will happen. So until next time, folks. Um, Till then.